Hey guys, in video land, this is Rock back with another video. Today, uh, I have another video, I actually have a couple of topics that uh, I want to talk about later on that I already kind of had scheduled to mention. Uh, usually when someone talks to me about something or something happens throughout my night, it kind of inspires my next word. I don't just, you know, come up with something to say. Usually it's, if I get something that pops into my head, and, I, and then I like to do a video about it. And then lately it's been more than one thing, and I don't want to do, you know, ten videos a day, but... This video hopefully helps anyone watching, but it's specifically, uh, I had someone write me on Messenger and ask me to do a video about it. So I'm not going to get into the exact details of their situation. I'm going to generalize and the person watching that uh, asked me to do this will know who they are. But um, it has to do with jealousy. Jealousy, in my opinion, is one of the ugliest qualities on a human being. I myself am responsible for being a jealous person. I would say I'm much better now as you know, 41 years old than I was when I was younger uh, in my 20s. You know, it can affect a relationship and a marriage really bad. I mean, I think we need to first identify that as adults, we are, we're individuals and we each need to, uh, women, men need to let, and this goes for men, I want to tell you, if you if you are in a relationship where <clears throat> the woman you're with, you feel like you somehow how identify with her and she is your property, she's not. I've come to terms with this. I might not have viewed it like I had property, but like I'm in my entitlement to that person. Like I felt entitled to them, but ultimately you're not. God owns them. He made them. You didn't. You can't, you know... Uh, have the proverbial bird in a cage situation. Your your presence is not a cage, and there and there's a bird. You know, there's a. I'm trying to word this right. You can't put your cage around a bird. You don't own the bird. It's gonna fly. And you need to realize that anything you do that, anything you treat that way. For example, animals, a cat. I hate to correlate a cat to a girl, I mean, uh, because they're not animals, but if you hold a cat in your lap, hold it down, it doesn't want you. And the question I would ask is why would you want something that doesn't want you? There's no enjoyment in self-entitlement. If something doesn't want you, how would you have any peace or any enjoyment or any warmth or any... Um, any satisfaction out of having something in your life or in your lap that doesn't want to be there and vice versa why would you why would you allow yourself to be in someone else's life even if your situation doesn't really permit otherwise if you're in a situation where you don't have finances and you have nowhere to go women this is for women I'm sure this happens to a lot of women you're in a situation, uh, your boyfriend, husband, whatever is hitting you, beating you, he yells at you emotionally, rips you apart, which I've been known to do. I've emotionally been uh, hard on when, you know, when I was married, I admit that. Uh, but why would you allow someone to break you down to a point that you are so miserable that you don't want to wake up in the morning? I don't care what your situation is, I don't care how bad you think you have it, women, that you can't, I know that, you know, you stay for the kids, you know, if you have uh, kids in a relationship, I know that, I hear this a lot, that, you know, I have kids involved, and, well, that's not really a good reason, because, number one, you being in a situation where you're being abused, and staying in it for the sake of the children is not helping the children. Yes, if you get out of the situation, it's going to hurt them in one way or another. They're going to struggle, as you will. But you're going to struggle way worse by staying in it. Or you're going to be hurting. You're going to be hurt. You could be raped. You could be killed. You could be mentally destroyed and, and to the point where you never recover from it. So women, if you're in a situation like that, where you feel like there's nowhere to go, find somewhere to go. Find a church, find a friend, find a parent. I don't care what it is. If you have to, if it's bad enough where you where you feel like your life's in danger, if you have to go to the police, whatever it is, you need to get out of that situation immediately. Immediately, whether you have kids or no kids. 
if you are in a situation where there's jealousy involved, especially someone who happens, you know, who's very jealous, uh, that's not a good situation. And you're, and I know that men do this to women. They, they will, uh, I've done it. They will make you feel not worthy. They will question where you, what you did on the internet, where you were when, when you went with your friends. Now there are a lot of you women out there, and men, who are doing things that are not appropriate, but it's still not for the other person to concern themselves with. They don't own you. You can't make someone want you if they don't. So I, I tend to go off subject. I really didn't have any good notes, but uh, I will. I have this one. Uh, there's a scripture in the Bible. It's Proverbs 14, verse 30. It says, a tranquil heart gives life to the flesh. I interpret that is once there is peace in your heart, if you're not jealous, if you're not worried, what happens is you sleep at night. You have a sound mind. You can make better decisions. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say men uh, or women, I guess. But uh, if you're jealous or if you're... <clears throat> worried constantly what your mate is doing there's no peace in your life and the scripture i think is saying you know um a tranquil heart meaning uh a heart that is free to love and not worry about you know what the other person's doing i think uh, it gives life to the flesh meaning it makes you feel free just to live your life without wasting any of your effort on jealousy jealousy and this is my favorite statement. Jealousy is the world's most wasted emotion. It's pointless. If, <clears throat> if, you, if one of whoever the person, the object of your, your problem is, if they're doing something that is not good for you, you can't stop it. Even if you think you stop it, you didn't. Uh, yes, it may affect you by not knowing what they're doing, or um, I've dealt with this myself. But it's a wasted emotion. You're literally losing sleep at night. Girls stand with a guy who hits you, puts his hand on you. And by the way, I don't care what the situation, change the subject again, for women. This message really specifically is, you know, uh, to this person, but anyone else that it helps. If a man says he loves you and he puts his hand on you in the same statement the first one does not apply anyone who loves does not hit no one no one especially women deserve to have someone else's hands on them in anger or lust or disrespect men man up this woman that you are hitting, that you are abusing, is someone else's daughter, someone else's sister, someone else's mother. Stop it. Be a man. Keep your hands to yourself. Stop making them feel bad. Leave them alone. Matter of fact, if you think you're a crappy mate, set her free out of respect. She deserves someone better than you. You can fix it. For men out there, you can fix the situation by doing the right thing. If you feel like you have an issue or a problem where you can't help but be abusive to your spouse, to your girlfriend, to your kid, whatever it might be, the least you can do is set her free. Let her go. Hurt her feelings. Get her out of your life. Whatever it takes to preserve her. Don't be rotten. That's not good. Um, I have a lot of uh, emotion about this, this subject because I don't believe in uh, abuse. I'm sure I'll get some kind of hate mail or something for men who do abuse their girlfriends and wives, but I don't care. It's wrong. God made us different. Um, I believe he made women for us. <clears throat> you know, women are, they make us feel good about ourselves. They tell us that we're, we're strong and we're, you know, we look good, and, but the the return of that is we're supposed to make them feel like ladies and not put our hands on them, make them feel safe. 
men, if you're if you make your girl feel unsafe, that is a sin. It's bad. Man up. Knock it off. If you put your hand on a girl, you are a girl. That's all there is to it. I'll probably get hate mail, but uh, I do want you to know uh, I don't have I have no hateful intentions whatsoever for the video. I just I hope that um, for the the young lady that asked me to do the video, I hope maybe in some way this helps you. And I just want to say again, please, if you're in a situation where you don't feel love or you don't feel like you want to be with a person, I'm not saying if you're married, just get a divorce. I'm saying if you're, especially if you're not married, if you're not married, there is no divorce. If you're in a situation where someone is putting their hand on you, I don't care if you think you're responsible or, or whatever, and it doesn't matter whose fault it is. No one deserves to put, no one has the right to put their hands on a woman or on anyone else, actually. So for uh, you females in that situation, get out. I don't care what the, what you have to do, get out of the situation. No one who loves you puts their hands on you. That's all there is to it. Um, that's all I got to say on this video. I want you guys to know for the person out there watching the video, besides the one I did the video for, um, I want you to know that I hope it helped you and I'm sure there's someone else that that feels you know like it's personally directed at them and so for you i want to tell you that i hope everything works out i hope your life is blessed and, and and if you have any questions or comments please subscribe to the link below you guys on youtube and i do want to tell you as always that i mean this when i say this and i do pray before my videos and after and i want you to know that i love you with all my heart i want to help in any way i can and god loves you he always has, he always will, he never leaves your side. And so for Video Land, peace.